Assalamu alaikum, how are you everyone? I am at uh, Estevan, Alhamdulillah. And so far, a uh, little bit settled, Alhamdulillah. So now, um, today I came into video to share with you some important information, very important information. When you relocate from one city to another, say you have got a job, now you're relocating to one city to another city. So now what you have to do? So the very first thing you have to do is find an accommodation in a new city. Say if you are staying in a hotel uh, in a different city, uh, like I am staying uh, at uh, a hotel in well, uh, a hotel in Estevan. So uh, now from this hotel, uh, next question will be what to do with your day-to-day -day expenses. I mean, uh, what you can do. Uh, you have different type of expenses first of all you have a bank account say in cibc or rbc or scotia bank you have a bank account so uh, after you settle down in your new location first thing will be to inform uh, about your new destination uh, to everyone so what are your expenses your your expenses are on uh, bank account first of all number one is bank account um, that is uh, say uh, if it is CIBC then you have to contact CIBC bank and uh, update them on their uh, on, on your address number two will be um, sus uh, since uh, if you are if you already have uh, enlisted in city of Saskatoon then uh, you have to call city of Saskatoon and if you are uh, already new to Canada then first of all what you have to do is uh, you have to contact uh, the utilities say first of all you have to uh, google in uh, you have to google city of saskatoon utilities then uh, you have to add your address now if you're changing if you're changing your address from uh, saskatoon to a different location then uh, you have to uh, then you have to call them again and say that you are changing your address so they will uh, they will not uh, give additional uh, electricity bill on your address okay so that's the number two thing number three is you uh, first when you landed you applied for child benefits so if you now uh, change your address uh, so you have to uh, you have to contact uh, the uh, credit rating agency of Canada and uh, ask them to uh, change the mailing address uh, so your new mailing address will be your new address in uh, in a new city in the new city so when you put your uh, new city address then uh, the mails will come on that address so these are the main things the bank account the uh, credit rating uh, agency and uh, number three was um, utility ut utility bill at your house uh, now the next thing is internet probably you have connected through Saxtel or you have connected through uh, Shaw internet so if you are connected through these internets you have to contact them if you are staying in a hotel like me, then you have to suspend your inter uh, internet. In Shaw, we uh, in Shaw they have six months option that you can suspend your internet. Uh, since I am staying in a hotel, so uh, I am sus I suspended my internet service uh, from today up to uh, next one or two months. I have suspended my internet, and after that, if I get a permanent address, then I will uh, change the address and they will transfer my address from Saskatoon to the new address so uh, now internet is also settled now you have the uh, very important question is what is your new address if you if you don't know if you're coming to a new city so what you can do there are Canada Post everywhere everywhere in Saskatchewan so in which city you land you just go to a nearest Canada Post and uh, ask them to give you a lock and key for a box and if they give you a lock and key uh, and you will get a postal address so give that postal address uh, as your mailing address so from uh, then afterwards when you call the CRA and other agencies say CIBC CRA and uh, City of Saskatchewan Utilities then uh, your mailing address will be that one that, that that new one for all the documents so from then uh, since you have changed your apartment because I have faced these things and I don't want uh, you to uh, get um, confused on these issues. So uh, what you have to do is just change your address to, uh, you have to go to Canada Post, get, get a separate mailing address that is a, a separate box and then inform it to uh, CRA, then the uh, your bank, uh, my bank is CIBC, so you can inform CIBC that your address is that one 
and um, you can contact I, I have I have contacted uh, city of Saskatchewan uh, city of Saskatchewan utilities and uh, I have told them that I, I'm gonna um, I have disc discontinued now uh, use my new ad uh, use my new address so in this way you can change your complete address and afterwards all your mails will be transferred to the new address that is the easiest one and now if you are already in a new city with a new apartment lease then you can give the new apartment address so uh, this is the way you can transfer from one city to another one and hopefully um, uh, many of you have contacted me regarding the immigration services professional immigration services uh, alhamdulillah we have been helping a lot of people but uh, the basic thing is you have to have uh, IELTS, IELTS and uh, you have to do educational credential assessment um, but uh, first of all you can contact us and you can fill a form after filling the form we can tell that this should be your IELTS score and you you will be needing masters or honors in ECA that is educational credential assessment uh, I will try to make a separate video video how to do ECA educational credential assessments there are separate uh, organizations uh, WES is one organization I know and another one is IQAS there are different organizations so I'll try to make a video of how to um, uh, evaluate your educational qualifications uh, in Canadian equivalent equivalency uh, that is the ECA after you complete your ECA uh, then you will get some points uh, on education and uh, then um, also uh, when you fill up the forms that we will provide you when you contact us uh, we will provide you a form to fill up after that form fill up we can know the your information and finally we can uh, guide you that you need minimum that much of a score uh, to come to Canada so after that you can prepare for IELTS and complete your ECA and after that you can again contact us and start the process of uh, immigration professional immigrations again many of you have uh, requested uh, many of you have requested uh, for apartments in different locations in Canada so I have got uh, suitable um, suitable guys for uh, your support so uh, you can keep contacting me and uh, those who have already contacted me you can give me a reminder I can give you uh, give you the uh, contact and details for different apartments again many of you are coming uh, as a new immigrant um, to Canada so um, if you need any I mean you have uh, rented a say you, you have decided to rent one apartment but you are not sure whether it is suitable for you or not you can contact me I can guide you whether it is suitable for you or not um, next thing is if you need to buy any car I can guide you with somebody I can con um, I, I, I can connect you with somebody if you need any car maintenance I can help you inshallah if you need any um, job assistance how to uh, write cover letters how to apply for jobs and uh, different other things how to start your career there is a different video in uh, in, in our YouTube page also you can check even um, you can uh, you can knock me regarding these supports also so uh, thank you I'll talk with you later inshallah and if you have any more query put in the comment box I will make a separate video uh, on those points thank you assalamu alaikum bye bye